This tutorial video is brought to you by TIJ Tech. And this tutorial video is on linear regression in depth. There is a x variable and there is a y variable, the independent variable on x axis and dependent variable on y axis. Here what we try to understand is that when we change the independent variable and try to find what happens to the dependent variable. So, here it try to find the relation between x axis and y axis. Now, let us take some random observation and plot it on graph and let us draw line best fit, this line is called a regression line. Now we will have a demo on linear regression on Google Colab. Before starting our tutorial video we need to import some basic standards and they are as follows. Let's us start with a simple linear regression, a straight line fit to data. A straight line fit is a model of the form y equals mx plus c. Where m is commonly known as the slope, and c is commonly known as the intercept. To go on with the programming. As shown earlier first let's import the standard first. After that let's create a data which is scattered about a line with a slope of 0.5 and an intercept of minus 6. For the best fit line we can use scikit-learn's linear regression. We can find slope and the intercept of the line with the help of some parameters. Here we will be using the following code. For finding slope and intercept we are going to use cof underscore and intercept underscore. The linear regression estimator is much more capable than this, However in addition to simple straight line fits, it can also handle multidimensional linear models. And here in this code it explains the relationship between x variable and y variable having a multidimensional model. Now to go on with polynomial basis functions. It is useful enough that it is built into scikit-learn, using the polynomial features transformer. We see here that the polynomial features transformer has converted our one-dimensional array into a three-dimensional array by taking the exponent of each value. This new, higher dimensional data representation can then be plugged into a linear regression. With this transform in place, we can use the linear model to fit much more complicated relationships between X and Y. In this we are making a seventh degree polynomial model. For next demo we will try to make a non-linear graph with a random value to graph and try to create a graph with noise. Here is a sine wave with noise and our linear model, through the use of 7th order polynomial basis functions, can provide an excellent fit to this non-linear data. Now to go on with Gaussian basis functions. These Gaussian basis functions are not built into scikit-learn, but we can write a custom transformer that will create them. To give you some basic example on it let's us go on with a short demo video. Scikit-learn transformers are implemented as Python classes, reading Scikit-learn source is a good way to see how they can be created. For the last topic it is on regularization. Regularization makes the model much more flexible but it will have a bad impact on your graph. So in this coding we have used regularization and as you could see that the graph in the result seems to have in distorted form, so it is not advisable to use many Gaussian basis in it. Here we try to plot the coefficients of the Gaussian bases with respect to their locations. This is typical overfitting behavior when basis functions overlap, the coefficients of adjacent basis functions blow up and cancel each other out. The lower panel of this figure shows the amplitude of the basis function at each location. Model by penalizing large values of the model parameters. Such a penalty is known as regularization, and comes in several forms. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for upcoming video.